Hi! Welcome to TeachMat. Sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin kung paano mag-evaluate ng functions tulad ng mga examples na ito. So una sa lahat, pag-usapan natin ano nga ba yung procedure na ginagamit natin if we are asked to evaluate some functions. Again, for evaluating functions, we need to apply the law of substitution. So ibig sabihin, if we are asked to evaluate some function wherein meron tayong assigned value for x na mag-serve as our domain or input, siya yung ilalagay natin sa pinakaloob ng ating equation or function. Now, let's consider the following function. Let's say we have this f of x is equal to 3x plus 1. Again, this f of x, also known as the value of y, so yung first letter na nakikita natin, that is the name of the function. So pwede siyang maging kahit anong letters or symbols. Now, this f of x too, so binabasa siya as f of x, okay, it represents the value of the function at x. Now, let's have an example. So for example number 1, let's say we have this function f of x is equal to 3x plus 1. Let's find the value of f of 2 and f of 3. So meaning we are asked to evaluate this function using x equals to 2 and x equals to 3. So ano yung gagamitin natin mga procedures? So again, since evaluate natin siya, our first step is to copy the entire function. So our function is equals to f of x, okay? And that is equals to 3x plus 1. So let's have f of 2. That means, papalatan natin tong variable x at gagawin natin siyang value of 2. So, isasubstitute natin itong value ng ating domain sa lahat ng x na makikita natin sa loob ng ating function. So again, it will give us, so let's um simplify or substitute, it will give us 3 times the variable x. Th that means that is our plug-in or yung pinaka-value of x natin. So it will give us 3 times 2 and then copy the remaining term. So plus 1. And then after that, just simplify. So we have 3 times 2. Again, that is equal to 6. And then copy the remaining term, which is plus 1. And then simplify. 6 plus 1, and that is equal to 7. That's it. So ganun lang tayo nag -solve or nag-evaluate ng function. So just substitute the domain, and then simplify the given expression or function. Now, let's have f of 3. So again, same procedure. Just copy the original function. So we have f of x, and that is equal to 3x plus 1. So this time, let's solve for f of 3. So let's um, substitute the value of x. Gawin natin siyang 3. So siya yung mag as our plugin. Now, let's substitute the value of this domain okay, or input sa entire function natin. So it will give us 3 times the variable x or the value of our input, which is 3. And then copy the remaining term plus 1. And then after that, just simplify. So it will give us 3 times 3. That is equals to 9, and then copy the remaining term, and then simplify. 9 plus 1 is equals to 10, and that's it. So, siya yung pinaka-final answer natin. Alright, so this time, sa example na to, so we are asked to evaluate this function using some whole numbers na positive. How about example number 2? So, for example number 2, let's have this second function, f of x is equal to x plus 5, and let's find or evaluate this function using negative 5 as our input or domain, or f of negative 5. So again, same procedure yung gagamitin natin. So just copy the entire function. So we have f of x and that is equals to x plus 5. Now, the value of our domain is equals to negative 5. So let's um, write negative 5. And then, let's plug in the value of negative 5 sa lahat ng x na makikita natin sa ating function. So it will give us, again, we have x. So that is equals to negative 5. And then, Let's copy the remaining value, which is plus 5. Now, let's apply the common concept, or yung common concept na ginagamit natin sa mathematics, okay? So, for example, we have negative 5, okay? Plus the value of 5, syempre, that is equal to 0. That means the value of f of negative 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so it's either a positive number or the negative number yung maging domain natin. So, same pa rin yung procedures na i-apply natin. So, let's have example number 3. So, how about examples or functions with exponents, Okay? Example number 3, f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x. And let's find the value of f of negative 8. So let's um, solve this one, okay? So let's copy the entire function. We have f of x, and that is equals to x squared minus 3x. Okay, let's plug in the value of negative 8 as our domain. So we have negative 8. Therefore, it will give us, so let's substitute, okay? So we have x squared or the value of negative 8. Okay, yun yung x natin. And then, let's copy the exponent, or negative 8 squared, minus 3 times x, another variable x. So, magiging negative 8 ulit siya. And then, after that, just simplify. Okay, so again, 
So, yung common rule na ginagamit natin, especially sa mga expression like this one, yung PEMDAS, okay, or GEMDAS, kung ano man yung tawag natin doon. So, pwede natin siya may apply dito. So, again, we have negative 8. So, simplify muna natin siya sa kanyang exponent. So, negative 8 squared, that is negative 8 times negative 8. So, it will give us positive 64. And then, pwede na rin natin simplify itong 3 times negative 8. So, it's either i-consider natin yung um, preceding sign niya or pamayaan na natin siya gamitin. So, same lang din naman yung answer na makukuha natin. So, let's have uh, minus. Okay, so we have negative or 3 times negative 8. So, it will give us negative 24. So, let's write negative. Okay, negative 24. Now, uh, maybe some of you familiar tayo sa concept ito. So, if we are asked to subtract a negative number sa isang number, so we have these two negative signs, okay, na magkatabi, so automatically it will give us a positive sign. Okay, so it's either i-move natin siya or remove natin siya, gawin natin siya negative sign, or just follow this um equation. So we have 64 minus a negative number. Same lang din naman yung magiging value niyan. Same siya kay 64 plus 24. Alright, and that is equals to 88. And that's it. So the value of f of negative 8 for this given function or problem, the value is equals to positive 88. Alright, so let's have example number 4. Now, for example number 4, how about functions with exponents? Okay, so nandun yung variable natin as our exponent. So let's try to solve this one. f of x is equals to negative 2 times 5 raised to negative x minus 1. Okay, so let's find f of negative 2. So again, same procedure ang i-apply natin. Let's copy the entire function. So we have f of x, and that is equals to negative 2 times, so meron tayong raised dot or times, times 5 raised to negative x minus 1. So as you observe, yung pinaka-variable natin ay naging isang exponent. So walang problema dun. So let's plug in the value of negative 2 as our domain. And then, i-substitute natin siya sa lahat ng x na makikita natin sa function na to. So, again, it will give us, that is equals to negative 2 times the value of 5. Okay, raised to negative x or negative. Okay, so it will give us negative 2. Okay, and then copy the remaining exponent which is minus 1. And that's it. Okay, so we have negative of negative 2 minus 1. And then, let's simplify. Okay, so again, it will give us, that is equals to negative 2 times the value of 5 raised to, we have negative of negative 2, so it looks like positive 2 minus 1. And then 2 minus 1, so pwede na natin siyang simplify dito, so 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. Therefore, it will give us negative 2 times positive 5. Okay? And that is equals to negative 10. And that's it. So that's the final answer. Okay? Therefore, f of negative 2, for this given function, we have negative 10 as our final answer. Alright, so next, for our last example, um, guys, so what if we are asked to evaluate this one, okay? So, for example, number 5, so we have this f of x is equal to 4x minus 2, and let's find the value of f of x plus 2. As you observe, this time, we are asked to evaluate a function using an expression. So, sa mga previous examples natin, yung value ng ating domain dito ay isang specific number. It's either a positive or a negative number. How about examples na meron tayong expression? So, x plus 2 is an example of expression, right? So, don't worry. Same pa rin naman yung procedure na i-apply natin. So, again, number 1, let's copy the entire function. We have f of x and that is equals to 4x minus 2. This time, magiging expression yung magiging input natin. So, let's copy x plus 2 okay, as our input. Now, same procedure pa rin. So, don't worry. So, let's substitute the value of x as our input. So, magiging x plus 2 lahat ng x na makikita natin sa entire functions natin. Okay. Therefore, it will give us we have 4 times x. So, let's plug in our input. So, we have x plus 2. And then, copy the remaining term which is minus 2. Alright, so this time, after natin siya ma-substitute, kailangan na natin siyang simplify Again, be careful, hindi natin siya basta-basta simplify lang or substitute lang. Kailangan para natin isatisfy yung law sa mathematics na meron tayo dito. So, same with this one, we have 4 times x or 4 times x plus 2. So, we need to apply the distributive property of multiplication. Meaning, i-distribute natin yung value ng 4 sa lahat ng terms na meron sa ating mismong x. Okay? So, it will give us 4 times x, which is equals to 4x. And then 4 times positive 2, that is equals to positive 8. Alright, and then let's copy the remaining term, which is equals to minus 2. 
And then our last step, syempre, simplify. So since we have this 4x plus 8 minus 2, we need to combine like terms. So again, like terms means um, terms with same variable and then with same exponent at the same time or same constant. So same with this one, we have 8 and negative 2 para sa ng constant. So let's combine their values. Therefore, it will give us 4x and then 8 minus 2, that is equals to positive 6. And that's it. So that's our final answer. Therefore, the value of f of x plus 2 for this given function, that is equals to 4x plus 6. And that's it. So yun yung mga procedures kung paano tayo nag -e evaluate ng functions. So panoran natin yung next video natin about evaluating functions using an expression. So thank you and God bless.